Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our VW Sirocco. Then I'll take you for riding it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Of course, it could be a disaster because my camera battery was flat and I'm now filming it on my iPhone. It's a 1.4 TSI Blue Motion Tech GT Black Edition. 2017 on a 66 plate, one owner from new. Has done 40,747 miles. Fuel economy. Urban, 41.5 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 62.8 miles per gallon. And combined is 52.3 miles per gallon. A 0 to 60 time of 9.3 seconds and a top speed of 126 miles per hour out of 123 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So, it's the black edition. We've got the black grille, front parking sensors, the low chin spoiler, black door mirrors, black panel on the roof, the center panel, gloss black, multi-spoke alloy wheels, door protector there on the side, and also rear privacy glass. Got the integrated rear tailgate spoiler there. Reversing sensors in the bumper, the twin exhaust tips, this kind of VW badge which doubles as the boot catch. Solid load cover there, split rear back seats. There's only two back seats, so it's only a four seater. Gee whiz. Crikey. Pull that forward so you can see. Uh, nice sports seats in the back, very comfortable to be fair. Um, fixed rear headrest so no need to bash them out of your the, the middle of your back here the sculptured um really really nice i've had to put the seat forward but having said that there's still plenty of headroom for me so uh well designed in the back here I'll just take you for riding it and get the heater on We got two Volkswagen keys. It uh, it was cold out there. <laughs> now not so much. Let's see. I'll just get it going. Okay. Right. So really nice car. Just come in. Not being cleaned yet which is a good job because uh, lots of salt on the road um, and spray and slush and just about everything else. Uh, so I'll just take you for a ride in it. Good specification uh, and possibly more importantly, uh, more fun to drive. I, I, I think the, the 1.4s are more fun than the two litres. Um, you. <laughs> Well, you, you you have more fun in it. You, you've got to change gear more often, and and that's what it's all about. What's the point of having a, a sports car that'll do 70 mile an hour in second gear? You, it's stupid. Um, so I, I think this this engine is really well matched to to the vehicle. It's a bit slippy out today as well. The sun's not quite got to uh, Walton Dale yet, and neither have the gritters. Great gear change. Um, I've got uh, I've got quite a soft spot for VWs and Sirocco's, to be honest. Um, I used to work for a, a guy called Humphrey Moon who had Humphrey Moon Toyota and also Chorley Autos um, he was a gentleman and uh, there's only there's only two people two garages that have ever paid me all they owed me when I left and uh, he was one of them it's uh, it's virtually unheard of to get if, if you decide to leave yourself 
it's virtually unheard of in the motor trade to actually get paid what you're owed. So uh, I remember one one night at, at Humphreys, it was Friday night, and he thought the place was being burgled. I was still there at nine o'clock and I was still dealing with four lots of customers. And although Humphrey was uh, perhaps in his, I don't know, 70s then, he came in and we were we were juggling customers and uh, he was as happy as anything. And I, uh, I had a Sirocco as a demonstrator then. And the first car I ever bought and sold on my own at uh, BC Cars was a white Sirocco Scala. And here I am 20 odd years later in another white Sirocco. Just get past Julie there. As I say, it's more fun. Um, I prefer automatics these days mostly, but having said that, if it was something like a, an old Alfa Romeo or, or even this, I'd probably prefer manual, to be fair. Let's, let's just go past this car because somebody very kindly has come out in their Sirocco and that's what we look like. <laughs> or that's what, this is what they look like inside. Ozzy's, uh, Ozzy's better looking actually with a, the black pack on it. So you just you wouldn't think it was a 1.4. Plenty of torque and acceleration. As I say, on, on something like on a country lane. This is this is what you need. It's it's a proper sports car. Nice. We've got sat nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Got the nice aluminium trims around all the air vents and on the steering wheel. Two seats in the back, so it's only a four-seater. Split rear seats, split 50-50. It's uh, quite a good looking car, I would say. Lots of salt on the road today, and uh, I've actually got the air conditioning on so that the salt doesn't dry on the screen as quick. See, we're, we're in second coming around this roundabout here, as I say. Nice light clutch, We've got multifunction height and reach adjustable steering wheel. We've got the clocks on the top there, although does anybody ever look at those? Most important ones are obviously oil pressure and water temperature, perhaps rev counter as well if you're deaf. Lovely, for me anyway, seating position, it's absolutely perfect. Nice clear analog instruments, rev counter on the left. In the rev counter, there's your coolant temperature. You've got your information display, which is digital in the middle on the right hand side. Speedo and uh, fuel gauge at the bottom. Film looks there, it's broken down. We've got, uh, I can't actually tell what's behind us with the spray on the back screen. But we'll see when he goes past.
911 Carrera 4S L not Oops. Accidentally flicked the wipers there. Nice car. It is stop start. The off switch is there, which I suggest you hit. Now we're in sixth gear doing 70 miles an hour at just over, well, about 2,200 2, revs. That was the please refuel bong. Terrible, <laughs> terrible merge here. People from that side are trying to go up that way into the lakes and people from this side are trying to come off into Preston. Light switches there, automatic lights. Your phone on and off there you can flip through your information display really really nice car also got piano black insets around the dash and uh, along there look it actually looks a bit like carbon fiber or meant to look a bit like carbon fiber it tells you the your heading at the moment it's pointing north round the bend Great steering. Fifty miles an hour. just have to be careful on this road because sometimes the bushes stop the sun melting the snow so you go around a, a completely dry bit and then on the other side it's just snow and ice so I'm not going to be doing our usual testing the steering Unless I can see it's clear, it's clear here. Yeah, that's okay. No noises, no knocks or cracks. And let's see if the road's open today. Uh, it's not. Hopefully we won't get too much spray down here anyway. Although, I hope the gritters have been down here, otherwise I could be on my way to the scene of an accident. So, you know, Preston Highways Department they, they must have a meeting to see 
when they can cock people up the most. It's a lovely area of uh, Preston, Waltney Dale. Some very nice houses down here. And the unfortunate thing is, it's a lovely road, but quite often you'll meet with a tractor <laughs> and come round a bend and there'll be one right in the middle of the road. I think I might be asking for trouble going down the other road. We'll have a look first, because if there's no gritter being down there, then uh, even though it's front wheel drive, it might just struggle to get up the other side. the road I thought the sat nav was sending me down the other day. <laughs> now let's look. Are we okay? Do you know, I ain't going to do it. What's the point? It's a lovely day. I'm in a lovely car and it's a lovely road. It could well be a nightmare today, the uh, the video, the battery was flat in my camera, so I have tried to do my best with my iPhone, rather than uh, go back and get another battery, so we'll see how we get on, um, just trying to think what else have we got, what other cars we got coming in. Well, we've got a, a VW Tiguan, that's a lovely car, another one that parks itself. We've got some, well over the weekend we had three vans that came in last week and uh, we've had inquiries on them and they've all sold, which is... Uh, which is fantastic, obviously. With this lockdown and stuff, there's more people. Oh dear, that's a mess. There's more people ordering stuff online and from home. So more vans wanted. See what I mean about the gear in there, a second gear corner. And I, 
I really do think it's a lot more fun to drive than a two litre. We've got a little Corsa as well that um, is, uh, is like new, very low mileage. Um, and hopefully there'll be more stuff coming so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video